Hey guys, it's JP554731 and I'll be unboxing and reviewing MIB3's uh, Agent G. And she's a Kotobukiya Bishoujo statue and she retails for uh, around 50 bucks. I got her on sale at uh, Hobby Link Japan and that sale is long gone. And <clears throat> well, here she is. Um, she has a really light blue for her, um, her uh, art. Usually the side <clears throat> has uh, different colors for each Bishoujo. And the outlining is in blue too on the lettering. So that's kind of neat. Let's go ahead and open her up. Uh, I always do it from the bottom, so... <clears throat> It looks like there's two ways to display her. One with the gun and one with the, um, I forgot what it was called. I think it's the nebulizer. I, uh, it's supposed to erase your memory, but I've seen, I saw Men in Black, <laughs> like way back when in 1998. And that was a long time ago, so. I don't really remember what it's called. So. A little departure from the regular Bishoujo backing. On the bottom is like a UFO uh, kind of looking thing. And it's just MIB, MIB all the way around. That's pretty neat. Uh, let's see. Just the regular uh, Japanese kanji. Uh, MIB on the top and clear, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't think they've had anything like that. And the window is like a UFO thing as well. Um, so yeah, you can see by the side you, that she can put her glasses on. <clears throat> so there's actually four ways you can display her, which is actually pretty cool. And I will explore those four ways with you in just a moment. So, here are the instructions. Let's go ahead and bust those out. Okay, it says place earpiece of sunglasses in the gap between hair and face. So, that's probably a given. Um, insert the arm part of your choice into a peg in there, or that's the peg, there's the hole. And so, four ways to display her. Pretty awesome. Um, and, like the Harley Quinn before her, there's a gimmick under the base where you can store the extra parts that you're not using. So now that we've got her out of the box, let's go ahead and take her out here. Just a piece of plastic stuck to the clear box. Let's go ahead and unwrap this. <clears throat> the main reason why they put these plastic uh, coverings is because they don't want the paint to scratch uh, like uh, the paint to scratch off on on the other parts here she is Okay, so I like the shading on the base. Uh, there's also a really cool grate right here. It's a really cool looking diorama. And there's a, a tie here. Uh, looks like it's soft PVC and the anime tentacle. Uh -huh. and on a hydrant. 
No innuendo at all. Sarcasm noted. So you can see her stockings. It looks pretty cool. Um, it's in dark brown and it's shaded around the knees in black. Um, the skirt and dress look pretty pretty dark black. Um, it looks like there's a little bit of shading, but I can't really tell. It's like, it's too light for me to tell. It looks like they, uh, they put a little bit of, uh, <clears throat> a, a lighter white, whitish black on top. And then on the shirt, there's some shading in black. You can see the belt buckles in silver. The flesh tone looks pretty cool. Um, it's a lot better than what they've been doing in the past. And then you can see her lingerie is in purple. Um, so yeah, they did a pretty good job on the face. <clears throat> and the eyes are pretty good too. Um, most of the older stuff, the shoujo stuff, looks pretty plain in the face area. So, uh, let's go ahead and get to the glasses. There's actually a piece of uh, plastic over the glasses so it doesn't fall out. So yeah. You can display her without the glasses and with the nebulizer. Or, it's not a nebulizer. A nebulizer is uh, for, like, uh, people with breathing problems and, uh, you're supposed to put the glasses under the hair so, and over the ear. So you can display her with, out the glasses and with the, the thing, the, the flashing thing. Okay, so <laughs> I just googled it and uh, it, I was close. Nebulizer, neuralizer is the real uh, thing that it's called. And uh, neuron neuralizer, and it looks like she got, she has like a thing that says 1969 on uh, on her uh, left hand. I don't know what that is. I haven't seen the movie. So you can also take out her right hand, and then do that. It's pretty cool. Um, I was thinking about selling the other figure, but I'm kind of torn because there's another way to display her, and uh, I think I'm just going to keep the other figure that I bought. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and show you the, the gimmick. So just like Harley Quinn's, you, uh, uh, I don't think I broke it, but there's two little... Uh, pegs and uh, this looks pretty pretty fragile so you're gonna want to take care of this so you just put that part in there into the housing and then insert the pegs into the holes and voila so yeah this is JP554731 again. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment as I always appreciate that. See you guys later.